My truck is really loud right now, but I'm going through this, this thing that I've gone through pretty often in my life right now. Um, usually it happens whenever I would smoke weed, but I haven't had anything to smoke lately. It's been a while. I've smoked CBD, but it's been a while. Um, I guess I do have like a CBD cartridge that I hit, like e-cig juice, so that could have been it yesterday. But it's CBD, CBD doesn't get you high. So I'm not really sure why I'm experiencing this in this moment, but I wanted to talk about it. So I don't know if anyone else goes through this or if this is just something strange that I encounter. But usually, like I said, when I'm high, I go through this experience which I consider experiencing my life. And it's like I can hear my voice deep down inside, not like like hearing voices, but like feeling it. And it's like, it's like kind of like talking in poems or parables or something. And it says stuff like, like whatever I'm going through, like what if I am a bad person? What if this is really the way that it's supposed to be? What if when I die, I will be born again, but what if I'm not? What about that? And then it's like I respond to myself and I say like, well, if I cease to exist, that would be really sad, but I would love to continue on with the Almighty God. That is what I believe and that is what I hope for for all eternity is to be with the Almighty God forever, forever and ever forever will always be and then I'll ask another question well what about your friends do you think that they think you're crazy do you think that your mom really loves you <laughs> and I feel like people people consider that to be schizophrenia or something my doctor never diagnosed me with that I told her that I think I hear my thoughts and that's what I consider it to be it's not like, oh, you need to go do this or, oh, you should do that. I think it's really sad that people experience that. But mine is more like like doubt and questions followed by answers that I respond to. But the questions are like my deep down thoughts. And I always wonder, like, if God is real, which I believe, you know, people would say God is real. The truth is the truth no matter what. I believe in God, and I believe that with God all things are possible, and I believe that that there is no way that God wouldn't exist, but I also believe that I could be wrong, but that's still my belief. I don't doubt God's existence. I don't doubt God, but I doubt myself that maybe I am crazy. Maybe I do believe in something that man made, but I've had experiences that have led me to believe that God is real. So I believe in God with my whole heart, mind, body, and soul. The only person I doubt is myself. But with all of that being said, if like, you know, God and angels and devils and all that stuff is real, like what if something is testing me? What if something is questioning me to make me doubt my faith, to make me doubt myself, to make me doubt God? Or what if it's just my own thoughts? How do you know? How do you know what it really is? Is it me? Or is it God? Or is it Satan? Or is it a demon? Or is it angels? Or is it my friends? Or is it my family who have passed away? Or is it people who are still alive who are communicating spiritually with me? I believe that all of that is possible. So I have no idea what it is, but whatever it is, I was just experiencing it. And my answer is always the Almighty God. And I want it to always be. I will doubt myself. I will surrender to mine own thoughts, but what I won't do is give up on God because God never gave up on me. People always say, oh, you drink alcohol, you smoke weed, you're a lesbian, you're going to hell. I believe I'm going to heaven. I believe that. And nothing anyone does or says can make me think any differently. It's so funny how, you know, of course, when I first came out, my mom was really upset. And yes, I'm driving and recording a video, but it's okay, it's, it's fine. But my mom was really upset with the fact that I, with the fact that I was gay and 
you know, I was born in the church and everything. So, of course, of course people are going to be upset that their children are gay. And that's so, that's fine. That's how you were raised. And, and you're not perfect either. But God taught us to love. God taught us to forgive. And God taught us to understand. We understand one another no matter what. We understand that we are not the ones who decide whether we live or die. We are not the ones who decide whether we go to heaven or hell. I can't make that decision for myself. I can't make that decision for you and I can't make that decision for God. It's not up to me. So all I can do is live my life and be a good person and believe in my heart and in my soul and in my mind that I want nothing but the best for people in life and love everyone unconditionally, no matter what, no matter what, no matter how mean they are to me, no matter how much they wish the worst for me, no matter how much they wish the best and want nothing but the world for me. I want to love everyone equally with all my heart, all my mind, all my body and all my soul, all those who are living, all of those who have died, who have passed on, who are elsewhere, whether they're somewhere else in the universe or in heaven, wherever they may be, I want the best for everyone. And I just hope and pray that we all succeed in life and that we all make it to this beautiful eternity. I want that for everyone, even Satan. I want that for everyone. All I wanna do is be happy. And all I want is for everyone to be happy with me. For, for those who decide that they don't want that, that's fine, that's your decision. We're allowed to make our own decisions, but I'll tell you what, that would make God so sad. And of course that would make me sad, but we all have a choice. And I feel like that's why we're here on earth. We're here to enjoy ourselves and have fun, but we're also here to make a choice. Like, where do you wanna spend the rest of your life? Not just this life on earth. Do you wanna continue or do you wanna to cease to exist? If you choose to cease to exist, of course that part of you that is a part of God should be returned to its rightful owner, the almighty God. But the part of you that is only you will cease to exist because that's what you choose if that's what you really want. But I wanna live. My strongest desire in the whole world is to live. And my second desire is to be with the almighty God. How can I be with the almighty God if I'm not alive, if I'm no longer existing? So yes, I choose me first. I put God first in a sense where I do put him above me, like whenever I want to do things, sometimes I still do what I wanna do, but I ask permission. So I put God first, I ask permission, I pray, I ask permission, but I still do what I want anyways, but at least I asked, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's how I view that. Everyone's opinions are different. And I think that's perfectly fine. We don't all have to agree with how life works. And again, the truth is the truth no matter what. I may be wrong, you may be wrong, we may all be right, but collectively. So it's no one's singular decision. It's God's, the truth is the truth, no matter what. I can't change that and neither can you, so. I wanted to take the time out to say this today because I'm going through something. I'm feeling a lot of malice and I feel really uncomfortable for no given reason. There's no reason why I should be feeling this way right now. Like I, I'm not fatigued, I'm not tired. I slept pretty well last night. I mean, I woke up a couple of times, but at least I did sleep. But I just feel like something is off and whatever it is, I need to, to fix it, realign myself. So I decided to post this today. My thoughts are mine own and I feel like I have a beautiful heart and a beautiful soul. And I just want the best for you. I want the best for me. I want the best for everyone. And with that being said, I guess I better get back to work. <laughs> I hope you all have a good day. Thank you for watching.